Today is the 11th of the 5th, 2017, and I'm going to be bricking the Crosshair Hero motherboard by Asus. Now, this is an X370 motherboard, and then I'm going to tell you how to fix it. Oh, actually, I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to show you how to fix it in a few easy steps, and if you've got this problem, at least you don't have to RMA it and then or lose your money. You can literally fix it. Not too sure if I'm allowed to show you this, but I'm going to do it anyway, because technically there's no videos, there's no information online, there's nothing. Nada! Nothing, but I'm going to show you anyway. So first off, what we're going to do, we're going to get Asus update utility, which is this. And we're going to connect to the internet. And there's no BIOS on there. Why is there no BIOS on there? So what I did is I went to Asus' port um, on, on the website and I downloaded my old BIOS that I started off with uh, to te test the bricking of the actual motherboard. I couldn't show you the way I've done it there because I updated it already. So what I've done is I'm reversing it from uh, version 1002, which is release date was the 3rd of the 24th of 2018. And I'm going to be updating it to 0902.cat. So so that's that version and that release date was the 3rd 11 2017 but all relevant bits will be in the video so you will be able to find out if you've got the same BIOS and all that sort of stuff which you should do if you've got this actual motherboard but I'm going to show you how to replenish it back without getting it aura made or it's bricked for life and you, or you lose your money so it's quite expensive though 250 pounds so or 250 goddamn dollars anyway I'm going to update it now this way first so it says BIOS update may take three to five minutes do not shut restart system or run any applications to prevent system boot up failure important the system requires a restart for the bias to take effect so what I'm gonna do is get it all the way back to where I was because this is kind of irrelevant but I'm just showing you a little test in case I don't really want you to test it yourself to do this because if you were to do this and you couldn't get it back then it'd be a problem but I just want to show the people that are having a problem that they've got their motherboard still there they're working out whether they've lost money or they need to RMA it back and it's gonna be problems when they could just look at this video and get it sorted ASAP so I'm gonna go back to the original BIOS and this should work with all biases and then I'm just gonna show you how to work it and fix it so far I've been waiting longer than three to five minutes and what do I do do I leave the computer like this I need to go home it's water cooled it might don't know something might happen what do I do well I'm just gonna turn it off hopefully it'll work then restart. Hopefully, the computer works. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> what do I do? The mouse is not doing anything. I'm gonna turn off the computer. Hopefully, that was rectify it. I'm gonna power it on. Should see uh, a screen in a sec. Warning: BIOS mode has been detected. Please put the file c6h.cap into HDD or removable USB media device, and then press and then reset your computer. You can also insert Asus support CD to your CD-ROM and reset your computer. If you have done these. Uh, please wait a moment and don't shut down the system. System will all well will be automatically be rebooted. So, right, what do I do next when I've seen this screen? Um, uh, number one, I haven't got the actual C6H.CAP, and I've got a removable drive, but I've got a CD drive. But I haven't got a CD or DVD drive. What what do I do? Normal people will probably just do this. Turn off the system. And... Don't know, let's turn it back on and see what happens. Still this sign, what do I do? How do, how do I sort this out? Um, right, so I'm gonna turn it off again. Then I'm going to unplug the um, AC adapter at the back, what normal people will do. Let a bit of voltage go out. Should leave it for about 30 seconds. Now I'm going to plug it back in. Hopefully everything's cured. 
power is on, yay, it looks lovely. Turn it on. Code reader charts looking okay. Got a red light at the moment, so we've got a green and a red light. It needs to go white, then green, and then green's all good. And that means we post and straight into the BIOS. Okay. Right, I can't do anything about this. This motherboard comes with CMOS reset. Let's use that. That should, that should sort things out. Power button on. Right, still can't get into Windows. Uh, keyboard ain't working, nothing's working. What do I do? So first off, what we're gonna do is gonna switch the computer off. And we're gonna turn off, the, get all the voltage out. So we're gonna switch that off until there's no green light on there or any green lights on the actual motherboard itself. Then we're gonna turn it on with no power actually cycling. And then got my USB with my most up-to-date trusty BIOS update from Asus website. And then I'm gonna slot it into where it says BIOS. And then we'll do it the right way. Then I'm gonna hold this button down saying BIOS until it flashes blue. And now it's flashing blue. That is doing an update right now. When it stops, that means it's updated. And then we're gonna try and turn it on the computer and see if it cycles and gets to the actual desktop. So as you can see, the blue light is no more flashing. So that means the update's done and you may remove the USB. So I've done that. Now I'm gonna turn on the computer. So this is the newest update, so it should naturally work now. So I'm gonna just turn on the computer and um, obviously this is a bricked motherboard, completely not gonna work. Well, it's not meant to work because it's meant to be bricked. That's the whole point about this video. So yeah, hopefully this is bricked so I can show you exactly how to fix it because that's the whole point about it as well. And there you go, it's on number 15. It's not doing anything. This is the newest update and code number 15. What is code number 15? Well, I saw code number, oh, there we go, OD. So, no, no, nothing on the screen yet. Yet the screen is saying it's on. And before you even like start saying, oh, what about moving the graphics card, removing the memory? I, I tested all my memory. I moved every single memory stick and I removed the graphics card and put it back in. I even checked for onboard graphics on this motherboard. I was blown away when I didn't realize it was none on there for 250 quid. Nice one, Acer. Or Asus, I should say. <laughs> I got that wrong. Nice one for me to messing it up. But anyway, yeah, so that error code's there. I've also switched the BIOS from another BIOS switch and back and used the jumper. It doesn't work. So I'm going to just show you that real quick. So I'm going to use the jumper, which is next to the BIOS switch. And I'm going to flick it forward to on. And I've also took the graphics card off and took the battery out and used the CMOS. Nothing works. That is a complete bricked motherboard. When I mean bricked, you don't see nothing on the screen. Nothing at all. And there's the error code coming up. So it's on 22 with a red light at the moment. You could have any kind of error code. Just not going to work. So nothing's happening. What do I do? I've lost 250 quid. RMA. It's all missions. So I'll turn off the computer now, again. I'm gonna switch it back with the jumper. In fact, to make this video shorter, I'm gonna tell you, CMOS doesn't work. Memory, changing the memory, moving the memory, doing one single memory, graphics card, changing the graphics card, changing the CMOS battery, turning the voltage off, moving the jumper from one side, turning it on, and moving the jumper or to the other side and leaving it on with the bus switch, turning it off and taking the jumper off and taking the jumper off completely, and all the battery and all the voltage, still doesn't work, completely brick. The only way you can do it is basically doing it with the BIOS update, and the BIOS update is the one I'm gonna show you in one second. But I'm just gonna show you one more time, everything's back to normal, computer back on. So you think, oh yeah, codes are going around, looks pretty good, and then it gets stuck. So 23 is the number that it gets stuck on in here as well, or 15 or eight if it's a bad overclock as well. Depends, and OD as well. So there's no cycling, there's no like white light and then green to say it's going, just green on the one side there. So what do I do? How do I fix? Right, so we turn off the computer and we go back. Where's my USB? 
We go back, we get a USB stick again, and we go to another computer, and then we download... So I've got the right BIOS that will actually work for this. This should actually work, because at the moment it's not working at all. Totally bricked. So let's, let's test it. Right, so all I'm gonna do is uh, I'll put the USB into the back, into the same place where I put it before, which is a BIOS USB uh, port, and then I clicked and held down the button, which is a BIOS button, so it blinks blue, and if it blinks blue, then great. If it doesn't, then it's a problem. So if it blinks blue, that means it starts to update, and when it stops, uh, that means the update's done, and you can remove the USB, and then you can restart the computer, and it should work. It will take longer than normal, but it will actually post, because I've already tried and tested it. I wouldn't be making this video. It'd just be stupid, wouldn't it, to break my motherboard. So all I'm gonna do, uh, the blue lights, uh, it's not flashing anymore, so that means the update's done. So I'm going to take the USB out, and then I'm gonna power it on, and you should see the screen coming up. And the code should be getting to the right code to go on here. And if it doesn't, ignore this video. No money joking, it will work, I hope. <laughs> but it does, it takes normal, it takes Normally about 30 to 45 seconds to get back into the BIOS afterwards because it's doing all the checks to make sure everything's right like CPU memory, South Bridge, North Bridge, uh, VRMs, everything's checking everything out before it actually goes on the BIOS. So let's, I'm still got my fingers crossed though just in case. Bam, bow. We've got white light, yellow and orange light. That means the bus is going to happen. If my keyboard lights up, then it's ready to go. And this is what it should say that you need to read. There we go. And then green. There we go. Post. And then the screen should flash a little bit. And it's like, what's going on? And then it should come on. And this is how you fixed a bricked Crosshair Asus Hero motherboard. That's totally the wrong way around. Crosshair Hero. No, Asus Crosshair Hero motherboard so yeah and it says please enter the setup to recover bios settings when raid configuration was built ensure you set the SATA configuration to raid mode press f1 to run setup which we're not going to do because obviously i've got an ssd in there it needs to be h h a h u c i a and i don't know right so and then we just go into f1 and all your overclock or whatever you've got saved will be all gone and there's the bios update or whatever bios update i've used and it's there and that is simply how you fixed a bricked motherboard that's all working fine that lovely and all i would say is just do a stability test just to see if it's working afterwards and make sure memory's all right nothing's corrupt and cpu and everything's all good and then you're on your way but that's how you get it back anyway so if you like this video give me loads of thumbs up because if you don't give me loads of thumbs up i won't make any more tutorials about anything to help you in life no no i'm only joking i will still help you Comment down below if you need some help or anything like that with something else and subscribe, go and check out my merch store and buy us a hoodie, t-shirt, hat and a cup to drink out of, whatever you want to do. Uh, check out me on all social media platforms with loads of different photography pictures of different products I've got that I'm going to be releasing on the channel and I don't know what else. Oh yeah, subscribe. And I'll see you next one. Thanks for watching.